Okay, so I'm going to roll in a bunch of photos here of clothing that's relatively high end, much of it made in these United States of America. Some of these companies may or may not still be in business. A lot of the labels you're going to see here are from garments that are 20, 30 years old, sometimes even older than that. I've had uh, high quality garments like this for many years, and they do hold up if you take care of them. And if you can keep the moths away from eating them, they'll do good. And there's a uh, cashmere sport coat to give you an example. So you can see the brand names. And this way, if you're hunting around and you're looking at vintage clothes or you're uh, going on eBay, you might be able to find some of these things at a deal. And these were pretty expensive when they were new. And if you find them in mint condition, these things hold up really well. Again, if they're well cared for and well stored, they can hold up very well. And you can uh, get some, some great Made in USA products. <clears throat> some of these companies are still in business, too, that you're going to see. Some of the shirt companies, for example, Kenneth Gordon, I think they were just bought out by another shirt maker that's in the United States. So, um, so some of these are still around. And uh, if you want to go buy them brand new, you can do that. I don't even know. Is Macy's still in business? I guess they are. But anyway, you, you just get the idea here that, and by the way, I don't like blends. Like, for example, if they have a camel hair and wool blend, a lot of times that's going to be a sign that it's a lower end garment. Now, this particular garment here was made in England. So I have thrown a few things in here that are made in England. And I think one that uh, was made in Scotland or something that's coming up here shortly. But uh, most of these were made in the United States of America back in the day when really high quality clothing was made here, not imported. Imagine that. Yeah, that garment there is, uh, is, is uh, imported, but uh, very special garment. And you can see it is made of cashmere wool and mohair. <clears throat> so that's an exception to that rule where, where you, a blend is okay in that case. But here you can see this is 100% camel hair. And that coat was... Uh, purchased new on Cape Cod. And so you'll see the name of the men's store there, the Lawrence Shop. So this just gives you an idea of some of the things to hunt for if you're going around and looking for some classic clothes. And if you try, if you get them in, in these kinds of designs, these kind of timeless uh, designs, uh, they don't go in and out of fashion. You know, you get lapels, like you see those lapels there? You get lapels like that and you can wear that anytime. Uh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, now, uh, it's literally timeless style. And the Harris Tweed, <clears throat> which you're looking at now, it holds up really well. It's a, That's a durable fabric. Of course, it comes from Scotland, but uh, this was tailored in the United States. But uh, that Harris Tweed holds up really well. So if you're Using your sport coat a lot and it gets a lot of heavy use, you might want to look at Harris Tweed as a as a good option. Here's another suit. And uh, m most of the suits that I have were purchased down at the Georgetown University shop. And you can see that's uh, Oak Loom Clothes. And Corbin made some, some suits for them. So they use different high-end makers to make the suits. And there's Sulkin Company. Uh, they have a place in New York. Uh, there's a shirt that came out of a place uh, down in uh, at Beverly Hills. They also have a place on Miami Beach. And, of course, Nordstrom, <clears throat> they do sell some high-quality shirts. That one was not made in the U.S. This Kenneth Gordon shirt is made in the United States of America. And so that's always good. And that one is tailored in the USA. That was from Saks Fifth Avenue. And uh, there's another Nordstrom shirt. I don't think that one was made in the USA, unfortunately. And a few ties. And then in a, in a moment, we're going to roll in some clips of Bill's khakis. And those were made in the United States. I think they might still be. I'm not 100% sure on that. But Bill's khakis, you can get them at pretty good prices on eBay sometimes in mint condition. Sometimes brand new, never worn. And they're really well made. You can see the tag there. That, that pair was made in the United States of America. I have several pairs, and they've held up really well. I've gotten really good use out of those. 
Here's a couple of pair of jeans that were made in these United States of America. <clears throat> now, those belts did come from Australia down under. And that coat, of course, is uh, all cashmere. And I like the all cashmere coats. Now, here's a, a, a top coat that, again, is, uh, is made out of a uh, Harris tweed. So there you go. And, of course, the Burberry trench coat, that is made in England by the Englanders. And then we've got, we're going to roll in a Turnbull and Asher shirt. Those are really high-end, nice shirts. That, that one's made in England. And so uh, Turnbull and Asher, now those don't have pockets on them, which I would rather have pockets if I had my choice. But oh well, some of them, some of these high-end shirts do not. I'm trying to look stylish. Hart, Shafter, and Marks, they make some really good suits. So there's a good example of that. This particular coat is 100% cashmere. Very comfortable coat. That's one of my favorite sport coats uh, to wear. And a sport coat can go with anything. You wear that with jeans. You can wear that with an open collar. You could wear that with a polo shirt. You could, you could wear that uh, sport coat with just about anything. So there you go. And we're going to roll in a few more here. This is a uh, another Harris Tweed. And this one, I believe, was from uh, Polo, Ralph Lauren Polo. It says Polo University Club by Ralph Lauren. Again, another fairly old jacket. And you can see the Harris Tweed labels a little bit different on that one. Doesn't have the serial number on it. Now, this particular coat here is 100% cashmere. And I believe that's a Hickey Freeman. Yeah, that's a Hickey Freeman jacket. Uh, that's also extremely comfortable. Uh, there you can see pure cashmere. And again, if you get something like this, make sure it's in mint condition. Make sure it doesn't have any moth damage or anything like that or any signs of anything like that because you want to stay away from that. Again, here's uh, another Kenneth Gordon uh, made in these United States of America. And here's a receipt for some shirts that I ordered from Gitman Brothers, two shirts made in USA. So you can see I'm still supporting manufacturers that are making shirts and clothes in these United States of America. Buy U.S.